my name is Danny and I work for St Albans Museums. As part of our Henry Moore exhibition, Drawing in the Dark, I'd like to invite you to create some art at home using things you already own. All you will need is some tin foil and an interestingly shaped object from around your house. You could use something simple like this vase, but if you would like a bit more of a challenge, you could go for a more complicated shape. I'm going to be using this rabbit shaped bookend. Before you start your sculpture, take a minute to lay your object down and have a really close look at the shapes you can see. This rabbit has got a very flat front, so that will be important in my sculpture. Its overall shape is thin at the top and then round and curved at the bottom before it being flat underneath. And it's also got these two very thin pieces for the ears. This will help me work out what shapes I need to make with my tin foil. The first thing that I'm going to do for my sculpture is try and get the basic shapes I need to form the body. Keep the object you're copying in front of you while you work as this will help you to match the shapes that you can see. Keep building your base layer by layer. This is more structurally sound than one really big piece scrunched into a ball all at once. You can also add thinner pieces and build height by folding your tin foil into long thin pieces and twisting for stability. There's no need to use sellotape, just simply wrap individual components into their own sheet of foil to join them all together. Once you've got your basic shape, you can start to add more details. Here I'm adding the head, but instead of creating just a circle and sticking it on top, I'm once again using the full sheet. This is much more secure. The less creases in your tin foil, the more of a smooth finish you'll be able to make. See how I've been careful not to scrunch too much to keep that flat and shiny surface. Once you've got that 3D shape, you need to start looking at smaller elements that are sticking out beyond the main body. The hind quarter of this rabbit needs building up separate from the rest of the body because it sticks out more. Build it into small pieces even though it's going to be separate for now. You can wrap it all in a big sheet once you're done. Don't forget that your object has got two sides to it at least, so make sure that you are looking at the features on all sides of the object you're creating a sculpture out of. Once you're happy with the shapes that you've created, take one more sheet of foil and wrap it together to keep it into a good strong foundation. This is also the time to start thinking about any flat edges or straight sections that you've got on your sculpture because these are harder to enforce. Here you can see me smoothing it down and pressing it into the table to help get that very flat front. To make the ears or any other long cylindrical pieces that stick out, don't just go for the bits that are sticking out of the head. This isn't very stable. As you can see, I've wrapped the whole piece around the top of my sculpture to help the ears stay on. A final few adjustments and that is my sculpture all finished. And there you have it tinfoil rabbit sculpture. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's inspired you to make your own tinfoil sculptures at home. If you do join in, please share your results with us. We would love to see them. You can tag us on social media or you can email your pictures to us. That's the end of this challenge, but I hope that you'll join us again soon for another at home art. Bye for now.